equation of a circle here, x minus h the quantity squared plus y minus k the quantity squared equals the radius squared. So go ahead and memorize that. But uh, you also want to remember that h and k, those are the center of the circle, the center point of the circle. And then r here is the radius. Now notice this is the radius squared. You would have to take the square root of this quantity to find the actual radius. So an example would be, say this is an equation here of a circle in standard form. You can see that the center is actually going to be at positive 2, negative 3. Notice that the signs are the opposite. And then the radius is going to be the square root of 9, which is 3. Okay, so that's just a, a basic example. This is already set up for us. Uh, the problems that are on the SAT are slightly more challenging, and that's what we're going to get into right now. So see if you can pause the video, do these problems on your own. We'll go through them together and talk about how to approach them. But the first one, it says, write the equation of a circle with endpoints on the diameter of negative 2, 3 and 6, 9. So go ahead and see if you can solve that one. We'll do it together. So here's the thing. You might want to draw just a quick sketch here. Negative 2, 3 is somewhere right here. 6, 9 is somewhere over here. The circle is going to look something like this. We're trying to find that center point, and we're also trying to find out what the radius is, right? Okay, so the thing is, to find this center point, if these are the endpoints of the diameter, right, we're going to have to use our midpoint formula. Okay, so the midpoint formula, another one that's helpful, you might want to memorize if you don't know this one already, it's the average of the x's and it's the average of the y's. So just like you would think, you're adding the x-coordinates together and dividing by 2, adding the y-coordinates together and dividing by 2. So if we do that, we get negative 2 plus 6 divided by 2 and 3 plus 9 divided by 2, which when we simplify that's going to be 4 over 2, which is 2, 12 over 2, which is 6. So now we know that the center of our circle is at 2 comma 6, right? Right, 2 up 6. So, so far what we have is x minus 2 squared plus y minus 6 squared, right, uh, equals the radius squared. Okay, now to find the radius, you can do a couple different things. Okay, one thing you can do is you can say, well, I know that my center here is at 2, 6. I know that a point over here on the circle is 6, 9. You could use the distance formula to find that radius, put it in here, and then square it. So just a quick reminder, the distance formula is the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. You add those together and you take the square root. That's one way to do it. Another way to do it, and this way I like, is you just take one of the points. Let's just say we take 6, 9. If we put 6 in for x, okay, so that's 6 minus 2 squared. We put 9 in for y, so that's 9 minus 6 squared. We can solve for r squared. That's going to be 4 squared, which is 16, 3 squared, which is 9. So you can see that r squared is actually going to be 25. So if we put this all back together, our equation of our circle is x minus 2 squared plus y minus 6 squared equals the radius squared, which is 25. And you got it. Okay, example number two. See if you can do this one on your own. The equation of a circle is given by this equation here. What is the center of the circle? So they're just asking us for the center, but notice that this equation is not in our standard form of a circle. So we're going to have to put it in that standard form so we can identify the coordinates of the center. So go ahead and pause the video, see if you can do this on your own. We'll go ahead and go through it together. The first thing I would do is I would group the x's together. So I'd say x squared minus 6x, and I'd group the y's together. So y squared plus 4y, so I'm just grouping these together, equals 3. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to complete the square. So to complete the square, what we have here is we have like a, a trinomial. See, trinomial is three terms like this, right? And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take half of this middle coefficient, so half of negative 6, okay, divide it by, you know, half of it divided by 2 and square it. So negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3. Negative 3 squared is 9, so I'm going to add 9. But if I add 9 to the left side of the equation, I have to add 9 to the right because you're trying to keep it balanced. You don't want to change the overall equation. Same thing here. You're going to take half of 4, which is 2, and then square it, which is 4. So if we add 4 to the left, we want to add 4 to the right. So if we simplify here, you can see this is coming out to 16. Now what we're going to do is we're going to factor these trinomials. Now the way we've set it up by completing the square is that these are perfect squares. Okay, So this is going to be x minus 3 squared and y plus 2 squared. Now you can double check that by taking x minus 3 times x minus 3, see twice, foiling it, you'll get back this original. But a quick shortcut is, 
if you want to figure out how I got this, you can just take half of this middle coefficient, see x minus 3, take half of this coefficient, half of positive 4 is positive 2 or plus 2. That's a quick way to just go ahead and uh, you know write these perfect squares here. Okay, so there you go. So that's the equation of your circle right there. The center is going to be at positive 3, negative 2. Now some students make the mistake of saying negative 3, positive 2, but it's actually the opposite sign because you can see it's x minus h, y minus k. So you can see x minus, so it's actually positive 3, and y plus 2 is actually like y minus a negative 2, so it's actually negative 2. Or you can just remember that they're the opposite sign. So this is your center point here, 3, negative 2. If you need to, go ahead and review this lesson again. This is definitely an important concept uh, to understand for the SAT and an easy one to get right if you can understand the basic equation of the circle and how to complete the square. I'll see you in the next lesson.